What up, gamers? It's me, again. And in this vlog, I'll be making the banana a little smaller and finally, make a new environment. Right now, the banana is kind of stupid and just walks straight towards you. So let's add some AI strafing. AI strafing is actually something that many normal gamers don't know because it's just a small detail, but it's really important though. And if you don't know what AI strafing is, it's just an AI, but it's strafing. And almost all the big games have it if you look closely, except horror games, of course. The AIs in horror games are fast and stupid so we don't talk about the ai in horror games but where ai strafing is mostly seen is obviously in my favorite type of games action adventure games and a few examples will be Actually, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned some of these games in my previous devlogs before, so I'm not gonna say it again. But here's the problem, making AI strafing Unity with the Unity Not Mesh agent is just something that I can't do. Oh, and if you don't know what Unity Not Mesh is, it's just a really cool AI pathfinding system that lets your AI find the fastest way to a target. But making it strafe is another story, but luckily I found an easier way to do it and that's using root motion. Then I found out that I accidentally checked apply root motion in my animator. Now, if you don't know what apply root motion is, it's basically just motion applied to the root. Yup, it's time to turn it back on again. So first I made it that the AI uses rigid body and the uni not mesh agent combined to move. Yeah, crazy, right? And then move the agent with root motion, which is so much easier to do. And when attacking, you can just use root motion to move the enemy forward instead of moving the AI with scripts, which sucks by the way. And since it's using root motion you can simply play a strafe animation with root motion and the ai will strafe so i did some more coding and just made a blend tree and set the blend type to free from directional and now all i have to do is drag in a few animations and by a few animations i mean a lot of animations and now the ai can strafe to the right and strafe to the left and you guessed it strafe down in the ground <laughs> So doing it this way will have a problem, especially in small spaces. Since I'm not using uni enough mesh to strafe, the AI will sometimes just strafe into a wall like this. Kinda reminds me of Oblivion's NPC, which is perfection. Me, 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 me,
And that's all for today. Do be sure to cut that subscribe button. And as I said, I'll be making a humanoid AI tutorial or a mini series if this video gets over 10 likes. So smash like now, gamers, if you actually want to see the tutorial. And one last thing, join my Discord server. Goodbye. Should have saw the way she looked me in my eyes. She said, Baby, I am not afraid to die. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. I'm like, God, man, I need you. Say, like, what? Say, like, what? Oh, I need you. Can't get you all down. She's too greasy. She's so mean. She's so mean. I'm not beat.